Hey loves, welcome back to Real Talk with Jen. I'm Jen, how are you? Thank you so much for joining y'all. And if you saw last week's video, then you know that this video is a continuation of that video. So this is part two. So just hopping in to lead y'all into that video. Thank you so much for the ride y'all. That video got too long, my bad, my bad. I got too excited, but we'll make it work. I hope everybody is good. I pray that your family is well and that this weather is being good to you, getting that sunshine on your skin. Let's get into the video. Okay, let's um, let's take this, um, gosh y'all. I keep on apologizing about these kids, but I swear they are just so lit. It's so loud in here, it's so loud, I'm sorry. This is, I guess, our family Bible, I guess. I never thought about it that way, but I suppose it's our family Bible. Um, we had it on this little stingy napkin. Oh, it's been on that napkin. It's been on that napkin for six months, okay? So I wanted to get this plate, just put it here and then put the Bible on top. The plate looks like it's a little small, but it'll do. It's certainly better than a napkin. Y'all, I'm back in my office. And remember I said, we're winging it, right? We're winging it. I'm somebody that's always like struggling to drink water. I don't know if I struggle, but I drink water because I have to, basically. So. Um, I wanted to get a water bottle that encourages me to drink. And I remember one of my homegirls saying that like, when you get like straws or, you know, that type of thing, it helps with drinking water. So I got a water bottle. It holds 40 ounces of water. I have yet to be able to finish the entire thing, sadly. Um, and then you just hit this spout on the back, it opens up and then you drink. I got it from Amazon. It was on sales like 16 bucks. It was actually like 30 bucks or something stupid. Um, but it was, it was on sale so I got it because I really, really need to start drinking more water. I'm trying to, trying to um, drink more water, less wine. So I was telling my, I think I was telling my sister the other day that I'm changing my like intake of wine to like Thursday to Saturday only. And during the week, I'll just drink like water or juice or whatever, because I just, you know, just want to be healthier. And also, um, similar to a, a beer gut, I, I feel like I'm getting like a wine gut, if that's a thing. That's what I feel like is happening. It's, I feel like it's like a habit, a bad habit more than anything. It's so funny. It's like you just get used to doing something, so you just keep doing it. But it's like you actually don't care about it. <laughs> it's weird. But anyway, back in the living room, and I'm about to show y'all the big update. One of the big updates. Finally, 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 the coffee table has arrived, y'all. The coffee table has arrived, and... I love it so much. It's just a drum table. It's called like a volume drum table. Got it from West Elm, which is the same place we got our dining um, table stuff from. And it's worked well. I wanna go to Home Goods to get like a tray to put on the middle of the table. I just wanna put some decor here in the middle because Ava has already started to climb it and think it's just a, like a toy she can play with. It's coming together, y'all, little by little. I've been dying to go to Home Goods for so long, y'all, for so long. But I just didn't want to go until I felt like we were like ready to go. So gonna go to Home Goods, see if I can get a little, you know, just little stuff, nothing crazy. I'm not gonna go buy like that. The coffee table honestly was the last big like foundational item that we needed for the house. So everything now is based on like decor, basically. So we started painting. I will show you that in a bit. Um, we started painting. We picked out paint colors for down here um, that my husband will do soon enough, probably in the coming weeks. I say within a month. I give it a month and I bet you he, he'll paint it because once he starts going, he starts going, which is why we've been painting almost all of the upstairs rooms are painted. Um, and just like get little accessories to make it continue to feel more and more like home. So it's exciting to see things come together and kind of think through what we want it to like look like and feel like. Yeah, I was headed upstairs actually to start to show y'all the updates we made upstairs and then Amazon came. This is from Shein actually, not Amazon. But um, this is the insert for the throw pillow that I'm going to put in this little corner here. So like I said, I got the chair and it's gonna be right up in here somewhere. And then this is the 
pillow cover. It feels really nice, like really good quality. So Shein Home. If y'all don't know, now you know. And if you knew, why you ain't tell me? All right, loves, we are upstairs and we're in Ava's room. My husband painted the walls. Look how it looks. I'll put the paint color on the screen if I can find it because we had an old paint can downstairs. We used that and mixed it with white to come up with this color. But it looks so pretty like the peach color with her room vibe. He did such a great job, y'all. So everything's off the walls, obviously, and we will start to put some like proper looking artwork, if you will, back on the walls. Like I wanna put them in frames and just make it fun. I want it to be fun for the kids. They put these squishmallows in the window, y'all. My husband thought I did it. I thought he did it but it turns out Ava and I think her cousin did it is so cute so I'm gonna leave them there because I think it's adorable so let's see the update in PJ's room your boy has a blue room he said he wanted a blue room y'all so we went and looked at paint with him this is the color he chose it's nicer than I think we thought it was going to be we were a little nervous but again my husband did a great job put in this on the walls, once he gets going, you really can't stop him. These are the baskets that I saw at Target and I got it for PJ, but I didn't get white ones for Ava and I regret it. But like I said, it's okay. I'll find, I'll find some more, but I just, you know, it's kind of annoying that I missed that opportunity. We're gonna put up some of the same stuff that was already in his room back on the wall, but in frames and just like, I wanna make this like an art wall, if you will, for him. Like when you first walk in, this whole wall is just like full of fun stuff that's framed and not just like movie posters that are taped to the wall. I'd rather have them in frame. So get in there. The, the painting was a huge step for us, like in the right direction. So now we're gonna just start working again on decor up here for the kids. They need rugs, they need a ceiling fan child because it gets hot up here. It gets hot, y'all, I am afraid of the summer because we ain't spent the summer in this house and by the looks of it, we might cook in this house, y'all. We gotta get it figured out. Freezing in the winter, burning up in the summer. That's what happens when you get an old house though. So, you know, it takes time and quite frankly, it takes a lot of money. And look, it don't grow on trees. Okay, y'all, so now we're walking into the kids' bathroom. If y'all can see, I think on camera it kind of looks gray, but this is actually the exact same color that was on the door in PJ's bedroom. So this is kind of a better shot right here where you can see the light. So it's like this blue gray color that my husband painted in the bathroom and we love it. The kids love it. In a simple, simple dimple, it's like not loud or anything. It's just, like an easy color. We did the same thing in our bathroom, which is what I'm about to show y'all. Just kidding, my husband's taking a shower. In the meantime, let me show y'all our room. It looks so pretty. It's like this like yellowy white color. This one was called Marshmallow. I remember that much. I remember the name being cute. And it makes the room feel like a hug like a big hug, y'all. And guess what else we got, y'all? Whoop! Nightstands, child. Look, we really out here trying to do something, y'all. That's what I bought that stuff for downstairs for, is to put here in this area. Same thing here, so I'm gonna try to do my little faux flower situation and see how it looks. We've been trying, y'all, we've been really trying. Y'all know we don't have no more paper shades up in here. So we got blinds for every single window essentially. And I'll pop in an insert because I think I had already recorded this for y'all, but I want y'all to see it. I need to sit down, child, I'm winded. I'm winded. <laughs> this is part of the reason I wanna like start I wanna say start exercising, but I'm so bad at that, y'all. But I wanna start like, you know, drinking more water and somewhat eating healthier. Like if we just had a salad, we eat salads a lot anyway though, so that's not really saying much. 
I need to exercise, is what I was trying to say. I need to exercise, and I'm not good at that. I'm not someone that commits to that. I start, I never, I don't think I've ever really completed any type of exercise challenge or goal. I always fall short, even if it's like one day. I don't know, it's just, I just don't enjoy it. Um, so I've been thinking of ways to maybe exercise and be healthy, but also like something that I'll like not fail, <laughs> you know? Like I'm trying to think of ways for that. And one of the things I was asking my husband is like, what does he think about me going up and down the steps? Um, because like I just said, I was very winded just now. So if I did like steps exercises where I jogs up the steps, like jogs down the steps and see if that helps. If I do that like three times a week for 15 minutes, something, you know, I'm just trying to think of something that will help me kind of stay in shape and get this belly down child. Because I mean, obviously I need to do crunches as well. I probably should do crunches. Bye. Bye. Next day, here with my mini me. It's still morning, so uh, just got myself together. I fell asleep last night. We were up watching uh, Coachella, and I was trying so hard to stay awake. <laughs> trying so hard, but I fell asleep. So I didn't see all the acts that I wanted to see, but they replay it, so we're watching the replay now. So I'm about to go downstairs and watch that replay. That's hair, mama. That's hair color. This, I had this out, y'all. <laughs> I have this, I think I'm gonna dye my hair again. What is wrong with me? I don't know, something's wrong with me. And I don't wanna hear, I, I already know what y'all saying, but I don't wanna hear, it's fine. I mean, at this point, at this point, I'm asking for my hair to fall out my head. I'm just asking for it. So, I think I'm gonna do it though today. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see if the spirit moves me, but I think I wanna tr give it a whirl and put that in today, maybe tomorrow, I don't know, maybe this week. I just winging it, like I said, this is the winging it episode. to take a second today to do Ava's hair. We're gonna take them to the park later, so I'm debating, do I do her hair before the park or after the park? I don't know. I'm hungry though, so I ain't doing nothing until I eat. After I eat, then I'll decide uh, what I'm gonna do with that little girl's hair and, to see, and also see what her temperament is. If she's like not in the mood for it, I'm not gonna stress myself out right now because I don't feel like being in a bad mood, okay? So I did decide to wash Ava's hair. 
and get it out of the way. So I'm about to style her hair. I don't even know what I'm gonna do to it. Maybe like pigtails, I have no idea. I'm winging it. <laughs> the theme of the video, y'all. So we'll see how it goes. I didn't get a chance to like glue all these together. That is so annoying that I even have to do that, but I'll figure it out. For now, I'll just use, you know, a few of these and like put a cute clip on it so she feels like she got something cute on her head. My husband went with PJ to go kite uh, flying. So I think they're, they're at the park. I thought they were just in the yard, but I think he took them to the park. So we'll be going to the park later. So this is kind of a distraction so me and Ava can have kind of time alone and he can have some time alone with PJ. package so I want to show y'all real quick what we got but we're about to get ready to go and take these kids to the playground let me show y'all um Ava's bed sheets they're My really pretty sheets. yeah your bed sheets <gasps> the thread count you, is high <gasps> and it's she's so gonna pretty. be comfy cozy in this <gasps> I like it <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to put those on her sheets today. I gotta wash them first though. I wanna say they were like 20 bucks or 25 bucks on Amazon. Of course, Amazon. I showed y'all this the other day. Well, same video, but yesterday. Um, so it's nice and, and soft, but it's like a little bit baggy. Y'all see the, the, you know, still space in here. So I might find some like extra stuffing and put it in there or not, whatever girl. Cause it really doesn't matter <laughs> at the end of the day it really doesn't matter i actually might use that for my back for real while i'm sitting at my office chair um but it looks pretty nonetheless i like it don't get me wrong i like it but i wish it was like stuffed um a bit tighter with the filling that i that i got from amazon thanks so much for hanging out this video was full of random things and all over the place appreciate y'all for keeping up first of all um and like I said, I will put everything down below if you're into it, if you're into any of it, um, check it out. And I hope that y'all are enjoying the sun. We're about to take these kids out so they can enjoy the sun. I hope wherever you are, you're well, mentally, emotionally, physically, and just uh, making the most of this spring, summer season that we're going into because it's, you know, season of growth. So hopefully we're growing right along with all the trees and flowers around us, right? Like we all need to be growing and see, just just feel alive for real. Cause it's been, it's just been a lot. Even still in 2022, we're all still going through so much. So hope you enjoy this weather, enjoy your day. Thank you for hanging out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.